you got there? Just some old clothes for the rummage sale at the community center. Well, you can't sell this stuff. These are my favorite clothes. And this is my favorite box. <laughs> There's nothing here worth keeping. I mean, look at this disgusting tie. It's not a tie. It's a time capsule of meals gone by. <laughs> I wore this on our first date. You had the fettuccine Alfredo. Oh, I had the chili dog. That doesn't it bring back memories? Yeah. It reminds me I married a slob. <laughs> Help me take these out to the car. Not my wiener hat. It's a one-of-a-kind collector's item. Oh, and my other wiener hat? Dude, you are on fire. That's three games in a row you clinched for us. All that hard work is paying off. Oh, I don't work hard. <laughs> I've never told anyone this before, but I have a lucky shirt I wear underneath my uniform. <laughs> you stole a shirt from a little girl? <laughs> of course not. A few years ago, I was at the carnival riding the regurgitator, and I threw up on my shirt. Now that's a ride that makes good on its promise. <laughs> I found this replacement shirt in the lost and found. Next thing I knew, I was on an epic Wacka Weasel winning streak. I won so many stuffed animals. And they're all right here in this box for some reason. So that's your secret, a girly pink shirt. Yep. If I lost this baby, nothing good would ever happen to me again. Into the laundry you go and have an extra rinse. You've earned it. I love you. <laughs> Great turnout. This rummage sale was a brilliant idea, Lisa. It was your idea. I know. That's why I said it. <laughs> it does feel good to get rid of all that junk. I got 20 for that lamp. Dollars? No. Cents? No. Oh, Lisa. Watch and learn. I see you're interested in that high-end designer backpack. I can let you have it for a mere... $40. This is my backpack. I brought it from home. Fine. Since it's slightly used, I guess I can let it go for 10. Well, I do need a backpack. Mom, is it okay if I buy a secondhand suit? It's made out of wrinkle resistant material and it'll last forever. Sure, go for it. Thanks. I'll take it. And so was born the legend of Sir Luke the Dashing. Psst. Did you get everything on the list? Yep. Even that gross tie. Wait. Where's my wiener hat? And my other wiener hat? I'm keeping it. Consider it my fee. No way. That wasn't part of the deal. I guess I could go talk to your wife. Give them a good home. Mom, I put a shirt in the laundry, and now it's disappeared. Whoa, whoa, back up. You put a shirt in the laundry? Wait, why is the laundry hamper here? I was using it to carry all the old clothes we donated to the sale. Oh, no. Did you happen to see a T-shirt in here? It looks like it's for a little girl, but it's totally not. Oh, you mean the cute pink one with the pony and the sparkles? It's not pink, it's salmon. <laughs> and it's a rugged stallion dodging ninja stars. Uh-huh. I sold it. What? To who? Hey, Larry. <laughs> Check out this adorable shirt I bought. I couldn't resist, even if it is a little more girly than I'd normally wear. <laughs> there goes the best thing that's ever happened to me. Buddy, I know just how you feel. Chelsea! Wait, I didn't know you played table tennis. I don't. This is my first time picking up a hitting stick or whatever. <laughs> this must be a lucky shirt. Oh, no. There's no luck involved. I'm sure they're just letting you in to be nice. So you don't think it's a lucky shirt? Please, do you even hear yourself right now? I'll give you $20 for it. <laughs> it's not for sale. It'll make a great workout shirt. 
Oh, I have to go pick up my free concert tickets. I called a wrong number and ended up winning a radio contest. <laughs> Got to get that shirt back. I can't just stand here doing nothing. You get used to it. Whoa. <laughs> this armor has great back support, but I think there's a rat in here, and he does not like it when I try to sit down. What are you doing in there? Are you talking to me or the rat? Do you need change for the machine? Oh, no. Just window shopping. I'm looking at you, B2. If you want a snack, just buy it. I'm on a strict budget. Maybe it's time you asked for a raise. I don't know. Pam won't like that. And the last person that got on Pam's bad side was Tim. Who's Tim? Tim's the guy I replaced after Pam fired him. Just like Alan will replace me if I ever get fired. <laughs> Luke, you won't believe the terrible day I've had. First, I flushed my keys down the toilet. Then, I was attacked by a squirrel. And finally, I fell into the sewer through an open manhole. <laughs> On the plus side, I did find my keys down there. <laughs> I'll get it. Although, with my bad luck, it'll probably be a bunch of gorgeous supermodels whose bus broke down. <laughs> Darn it. <sighs> Reverse psychology never works. I would have been here sooner, but there's a busload of supermodels outside that need directions to a gas station. <laughs> Do you have something I can use to store all these phone numbers? You know I hate you, right? Well, you're going to love this. I made a bet with our arch rivals, the Centurions, and the losing team needs to dress up like cheerleaders and do a routine for the winners. What? In the entire history of our school, we've never beaten the Centurions. But we've never had your lucky pink shirt before, either. For the last time, it's salmon. <laughs> and it's gone. My mom sold it. Oh, no. This is bad. I gotta go. And to call off the bet? No, to hit the gym. If I'm gonna be wearing a skirt, I wanna look my best. I need to come up with a plan to get that shirt back. But thanks for listening. Sometimes you just need to talk it out, you know? So, what were you guys talking about? I haven't seen your father's disgusting old tie anywhere, have you? I know he got it back somehow. I can smell it. I mean, I can literally smell it. I never should have allowed that nacho cheese fountain at our wedding. Sorry, Mom. I'm a little busy trying to put my life back together. I'm trying to recreate my lucky shirt. Why not just ask Chelsea for your shirt back? And let her know I wear a little pink pony shirt? Don't you mean salmon? Come on, Mom. We both know it's pink. There must be a way to get your luck back. Don't wait for it to come to you. Go out there and grab it. You know what? You're right. I'll wait for my moment and grab it when she's not looking. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. And if you see your father, tell him I'm coming for that tie. Ooh. I would totally wear this. Wait. This is my shirt. Hey, Lori. You wanted to see me? Dupe. I've been thinking about how to get that raise of yours. Hey, if you want my job, you'll have to get in line behind Alan. <laughs> that guy seriously needs to get a life. No, I meant get you that raise. If you want Pam to take you seriously, you need to elevate yourself to her level. I don't know. Her heels don't look comfortable at all. I mean, you need to dress for success and have the confidence to match. I'm sure we'll find you something nice in these boxes of old clothes that no one was willing to pay five cents for. Oh, so we're gonna do like a fashion show type of thing. This could be fun. Why did I think this would be fun? Seriously, this just keeps getting worse. Okay, now I feel like you're just trying to humiliate me. You pick that one. Don't 
you feel more confident now? I'd feel a lot better if Alan's suit wasn't so much nicer than mine. <laughs> Shh, you're safe now. I won't let them take you away again. I just need to hide you. What was that? <laughs> Is somebody there? Why am I so jumpy? It's just a forbidden tie. <laughs> Maybe I'll hide it behind this suit of armor that I'm pretty sure has always been here. <laughs> Don't you ever get tired of scaring Dad? Are you kidding? I'm just getting started. Phase two involves creepy doll heads and a pipe organ. <laughs> In the meantime, I could use your help with something. I'll consider it, if you ask nicely. Fine. Good Sir Knight, will you join my noble quest to reclaim a lost artifact from a most terrifying foe? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds kind of scary. I'm gonna pass. Just come on. Fine. Lead the way. If this is a stealth mission, we should probably stop for oil. Okay, now that you look the part, we need to teach you some confidence. I'm already extremely confident. Are you? Oh, who am I kidding? I'm a worm. <gasps> I'm a lowly worm. <laughs> oh, I hear it now. <laughs> Let's do some role playing. You be you and I'll be Pam. Does my character have a backstory? You're playing yourself. Ooh, that's a lot of baggage. Good. Use that. <laughs> Pretend I'm Pam and ask me for a race. <laughs> what are you doing? Creating a reality. I'm coming into your office. I can't walk through walls. Just ask me for a raise. Can I have a raise? No. Get out of my office, you lowly worm. Okay, well, I'll just be... What's wrong with this door? Why won't it open? Let me out! Help! Somebody help me! I'm trapped! Wow. We could be here for a while. Here she comes. Get ready. Larry, I got your text. What's up? It's an emergency. I need your help to move this couch. Why? Are you here to help me move this couch or ask a million pointless questions? Fine, but let's do it quickly. My Pilates class starts in five minutes. And of course, you brought your lucky workout shirt. It's right here in my bag. Wait, don't put that on the floor. Why not? It's poison. I mean dirty. I mean covered in dirty poison. For the rats. The rats might take it. Okay. Why don't we hang it on <gasps> this old suit of armor that I'm pretty sure has always been here. Now, let's narrow our focus to only this couch. <laughs> there, that's perfect. Now let's get you back to that Pilates class. Are you sure we barely even moved it? Don't overthink it. <laughs> okay, bye now. <sighs> Behold, the treasure! Luke, you grabbed the wrong shirt. Hey, you want a sword pulled from a stone? I'm your guy. Anything else, you take your chances. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Closing time. All right, this is the moment you've been working towards. Are you sure I'm ready? No, but my ride leaves in 20 minutes, so let's move this thing along.
Dupe, what is it? I'd like a raise, please. No. If you don't give me a raise, then I'll have no choice but to quit. Well, I would hate to see you go. So let me just close my door first. Okay, you can go now. Oh, hey, Larry. Did you manage to get your lucky shirt back? Nope. I wouldn't worry about it too much. The truth is, there's no such thing as a lucky shirt. If there was, we'd all have one. I mean, when you say it out loud, it sounds pretty silly, don't you think? Yeah, I guess you're right. Now, a lucky tie, on the other hand, <laughs> that is very real. And it just so happens, I have one right here. Son, I want you to have this. Is this mustard? No, it's luck. Spicy yellow luck. Thanks. I can't wait to wear it. Oh, no. You don't want to wear a lucky tie. You want to take it to school and tuck it away in your locker where your mother will never find it. Wait. This isn't really a lucky tie, is it? You just want me to hide it from Mom. Are you going to bury this in the backyard? What? No. Of course not. Don't tell your mother. How could you just let Dupe go? He works harder than everyone else here. For the record, I'm not happy Dupe left either. His replacement is terrible. <laughs> That's right, Alan. I said it. <laughs> it's not too late to bring Dupe back. All he wanted was a little extra money so he could afford a snack. I can't give Dupe a raise. Why not? Because next to me, he's already the highest paid employee here. <laughs> That's just the same kind of lame excuse that... Wait, what? Dupe's not broke. He's just really cheap. Ask him for yourself. Don't worry, my sweet. We'll be together one day. I promise you that. If you want that snack so bad, why don't you just buy it? I can't just throw that kind of money away willy-nilly. In three months, it will reach its expiration date, and the guy from the vending company will give it to me for half price. Dupe, I made a mistake. You need to ask Pam for your job back. Will that require having to put on a bunch of random outfits again? Because I really didn't enjoy that part. No, you can just ask. Pam, can I please have my job back? Of course. Welcome back. Oh, thank you. Hit the road, Alan. You're done. Larry, why aren't you in your football gear? It's almost game time. I'm not playing. Without my lucky shirt, I'll just hold the team back. At least this way, I'm out of a chance. Really? You think your only contribution to the team is a lucky shirt? I don't know. Well, I do. I've seen you out there. And that's not girly pink shirt power. That's Larry power. The girly pink shirt may be gone, but the power of the girly pink shirt, that's in here. <laughs> and up here. Now you need to direct all your girly pink shirt energy where it can do the most good. On the football field. You should never give motivational speeches. Come on, let's go play some football. What's the worst that can happen? We lose the game and our dignity when we have to dress up like cheerleaders. <laughs> Well, at least I want to wax my legs for nothing. <laughs> that was ugly. No kidding. Your pom-pom work leaves a lot to be desired. I'm talking about the game. Even their mascot scored a touchdown. Dude, you need your lucky shirt back. Girly pink shirt power is way better than Larry power. Way better. Hey, guys. Nice moves out there. You think? Because that's not the feedback I'm getting. Hey, I'm not the one who nearly collapsed the whole pyramid. Next time, make sure to stick the dismount. <laughs> what do you mean, next time? I told you, we're not going to nationals. <laughs> you sure? Based on today's game, I would keep your options open. <laughs> what happened out there anyway? You know that shirt you bought at the rummage sale? Yeah, my lucky workout shirt. Well, my mom sold it by mistake. It used to be my lucky shirt. 
Really? Why didn't you tell me sooner? I would have given it back. Aw, that's so sweet. But I couldn't possibly give it to me. I don't have it anymore. What do you mean you don't have it? It brought you all kinds of luck. That's true, but salmon really isn't my color, so it had to go. Hey, Larry! <laughs> what do you think of my new coat of arms? Every knight needs a trusty steed, and the ninja stars are the icing on the cake. How was your day? Well, I got my lucky shirt back. Although, thanks to Luke stretching it out, it's more of a lucky nightgown. <laughs> That's nice, honey. What are you looking for? Oh, just a forbidden tie. <gasps> I bet it's in the garage. <laughs> Is she gone? Dad, what are you doing? Just spending time with an old friend. Gotcha. I hope you said your goodbyes, because your friend is going away forever. She can never take our memories. Love you. That was a decoy, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. The real tie's on a bus to a safe house in Mexico. <laughs> oh, 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 oh.